In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a mask in After Effects. To begin, what you will want to set up is you will want to have a standard composition here, and you'll want to grab some sort of graphic to use as your backdrop that will be masked. In this case, I chose an image of a corgi off of Pixabay. Now, when you're getting ready to generate a mask, you want to have selected what you want to mask. So for instance, if I want to have the mask only showing parts of this corgi graphic, I want to click on the graphic and then come up to the ellipse tool. Now you can choose whatever shape you like in here. I'm going to go with a circle. But one thing to point out is notice while having the graphic selected, notice how you no longer can choose between stroke and fill. That's because that really doesn't matter whenever you're setting up a mask. Now when you come and hover over your graphic, notice how your cursor changes. You have a black circle with a white box as a little icon next to the cursor. So if I go ahead and click and drag, notice how it makes a whole new area for me to work with here. It's now blacked out the rest of the graphic and now I can come in and I can actually work with the different options specifically for the mask. Now, Mask Path both controls the movement of the mask or records both the movement of the mask, but also too that if you came in and wanted to work with the individual points of the mask. So for instance, if I double click here, and it can be a little bit touchy, but if I come in and click one of the points, you can keep the mask in the same location, but you could actually animate it based on its Bezier curves if you prefer. I'm going to step backwards here. We're going to do the age-old spotlight animation. So what I actually want to do is I want to turn on the mask path. So I have that starting location. And let's say I go to 20 seconds now. I click and drag the mask and it comes over and catches the puppy's head, and it's just like whenever we were animating the shapes. Now going one step further, I could actually come out to maybe 40 seconds here, and let's come back in and revisit this here. And what I'd actually like to do maybe scale out a little bit more here based on the Bezier curve points to kind of get a lot more of the corgi in here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull on this to curve it more. Actually bring that up a little bit and, and it is just a single click to make those. There we go. You can also go one step further. You can feather your mask. Feathering kind of gives that vignette effect. So if you want it to be a little bit softer around the edges, it can be. Sometimes I'll turn on mask feathering just so that I have that vignette effect. Mask opacity. I could have it start at 0%. And maybe by the time it gets to the 20 second marker, it's faded in. And I'm going to go ahead and click and add a current keyframe, and maybe then I have it fade out by 50 seconds again. So that's a standard mask that you can do for a single graphic whenever you're working in After Effects. So the goal is, is to have the mask associated with the graphic.